trains. It's all about the trains. But at the end of last episode, we kind of ran out of resources. So I got a little bit busy. First up, I built these crushing wheels, which can turn the chromatic iron into cool chromatic dust. And the chromatic dust effectively doubles the amount of chromatic iron ingots that we can get. And to save on fuel, I built this cool fire flamethrower thing, which if we throw the dust into there, that is going to convert that over into the chromatic iron ingots that we need. And if you remember from last episode, we also needed some sturdy sheets in order to make some train casings. So I made this machine behind us, which I can use to turn powdered obsidian into these sturdy sheets. Just go stamp, stamp, stamp. And there we go. And this is what we need in order to be able to make our train casings. We simply go chromatic iron block, block of brass, and sturdy sheet. And that gives us our train casings that we need in order to build our trains. But the first thing I want to do is use this compass on it. Because that's going to allow us to do the most important thing. Make a train station. I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting an achievement there but yay train station so now if we take this down into our tunnel and let's start here and then put our train station here that means that we now officially have a train station that we can start building our trains on all right everyone moment of truth here train go <gasps> yes Yes, 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 yes. We have the first makings of a train. Granted, it doesn't have any controls, so we can't do anything with it at the moment. We need to make some more train casings, but that's it. We officially have something on the rails. Okay, so in order to make this train work properly, we're going to have to put some train casings on these sides. And then we need to put our train controls on the front. Yep, that looks good there. And then we need a seat. So, seat goes on there. And now we've glued everything together, we can go in here and assemble the train. It looks good, looks good. And now we need to hop on the train, activate the controls. Oh, wow. Yes, we're on a train. And, and we ran out of tracks. Backwards it is. Backwards train. Yay. <laughs> Who would have thought that this would be our peak Minecraft experience? Oh, I am beyond happy about this. And then we can just pull into the train station. And there we go. You know what? It might not look like much, but I absolutely love this little train. And we're going to make it much, much better in the future. But we now have a proof of concept and we can start working on the tunnel and make it just absolutely fantastic. Speaking of which, I asked you guys to make me some propaganda for this episode and boy did you guys come through. Now because this is the first time that we're putting these up and we want to get kickstarted on decoration, I'm actually going to put four up today. And the first one we're looking at is this one by Afraid Tuna. And it says, for freedom, join the resistance. And those of you that have been watching for a while will recognize that skin. That is the skin of the Vault Champion. So, yes, this is exactly what we were looking for. Now, for some reason, there tended to be a little bit of a theme with the rest of them. They all seem to be World War II propaganda. It's, it's not, not quite sure why, but they are, yeah, all based on World War II propaganda, and I absolutely love these so much. The, the old B-dubs Hellfire skin, ah, oh, these are fantastic. Now, this one here was made by Stormrider, and these two were made by Roberto in our Discord, so... These are beautiful. These are exactly what I wanted. We're not going to keep this deep slate. We're going to redecorate it. But for the time being, they can stay there. And as we improve this tunnel over time, they'll be moved around. If you guys want to have your artistic endeavors on the wall and you want to make some propaganda for us, then make sure to join the Discord and leave it in there because this stuff is fantastic. Oh yeah, I also told you I'd been a little bit busy. We, um... May have farmed up a small amount of Laramar. Just a, a small amount. Yep, 
just a, a small amount of Laramar, I think will be uh, good for a while. I've actually been making this into a cube and I kind of want to see how big we can get this cube. It's almost a five by five by five. So then once we've finished those four, I think we need to make it by six and then seven. And then hopefully we can just grow this cube to an insane level. Yeah, the new common rooms with all of the ores, they are super good. But doing all of those vaults has caused a slight storage problem for us. And our entire storage system has got messed up and it's overflowing over here. So what we really need to do is fix that. And boy, do I have the mods to do that. Knowledge stars go one, two, three. And then what we're going to be doing is unlocking simple storage and colossal chests. And I specifically left space behind here. If we break through here, we get to the chests so that I can put a colossal chest behind this storage system. And then we'll hook that up straight into the simple storage and have a huge amount of storage potential. And we can instantly put items in and out without it cluttering up the base. Because I think if we had a giant storage system out here, it would honestly just look awful. So let's get those things crafted up and make the storage system actually worth using. Oh yeah, and we got an artifact. 24 to go. So the first thing we need are these link cables, which are just driftwood and network cables. And those are just glass and chromatic iron. That seems simple enough. And then we need blocks of quartz. Ooh, you know what? Actually, this system is fairly cheap to make, which is surprising because normally the storage systems cost an absolute fortune. Okay, let's give this a quick test just to see if I've made the right things because I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure. So let's stick the root there and then the storage inventory there and then go one and two and then let's see. Oh, perfect. And there you go. That is the system all set up. Now, the storage request one, it requires a pog and it upgrades this. So I'm assuming this is like the one that you need crafting for, like you can build a crafter into it. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure. I'm still quite new to this mod and I've only looked at it very briefly. And I don't really want to waste a pog unless I absolutely have to. So... We'll just stick with this for the time being. So what I want to do is hook things up at the back here. So if I do this like that and then make some more cables and hook all of those up, then we should be good to go there. And then we need to expose these ones. Perfect. So time to make a bunch more link cables and then we can then move on to our colossal chest at the back here. Okay, perfect. That all looks good. So then we just add our network route in there and then we should be able to go around here and look in here. And there we go. That is all of our items. Absolutely perfect. So there we go. It looks exactly the same, except we can now just go here and grab a stack of Laramar. Or put a stack of Laramar back in. That's just so much better. Now, I'm actually going to go have a word with Fuzzy. Because I want to see whether it's actually worth making that pog or not. Because if it is, we'll see what functionality we can gain from it. Oh, it looks like he's stuck on a roof. Or he would be if we took this scaffolding away. <laughs> no, that feels a little bit too cruel. Oh, oh, he's coming. Oh, he had wings. That's less fun. Hello. Hello. I've uh, come for your advice. You've come for what? Your advice. Okay. What does this do? The, the storage system? No, specifically the storage request table. What, do, what does it, it do? It's, it's, it's the thing you can craft in. Oh, so, so it's the the storage thing but with crafting basically yeah oh yeah. okay right fair enough that is what i thought it was but i wasn't fully sure and i didn't know whether it was worth <laughs> dumping a pog into it and i was like well fuzzy's oh, yes. got it i don't know whether i need it and yeah yes yes you need it you really really need it do i need it otherwise it's just a giant chest i mean that's what i wanted i just wanted a giant chest have you seen my chest monster no it's, no it's, it's... I, I, I live here now this is all i do Apparently, we only need it if we want to make a crafting table as well. 
But we already have our little crafting table here, and we don't have enough pog gems by the looks of it, so uh, we could break down the gorge and I... Nah, we'll save that for later. So what I want to do now is make a start on the colossal chest, and I've made an area that can fit at least a 5x5 five five chest in it, and I want to fully fill this and hope that it will link up with this properly. Now, if my maths is correct, we're going to need 98 colossal chest walls. And since we need four chromatic iron and four driftwood in each one, we are going to need 392 chromatic iron and 392 driftwood. So looks like we've got just about enough driftwood and chromatic iron. No, there's no way we've got exactly the right amount. Right, I'm going to have had to done some sort of calculation wrong. There's no way it can be that perfect. Okay, well, there's a stack. And then, okay, so that's 98. And I know one of them we need to put into a colossal chest core. So that's three Laramar and a colossal chest wall. So that is easily doable. So I guess we just start building. Oh my, it is exactly the right size. As if it's exactly the right size, not even one chromatic ore to spare. Okay, well, let's go and test this. And actually, I'm going to cover that up because that looked very ugly. So let's stick a mechanical press in here. And oh, look how much space we've got. That's crazy. Okay, so the mechanical press is in there. And now can we get it? from our storage here so mechanical oh it is there amazing that is absolutely fantastic so that means we can just put all of this stuff straight into the chest and not need to worry about it at all our storage system is complete for the time being so we just go boop 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 I swear, if a creeper comes now and just blows all this up, I'm actually going to cry. So, we have a slight problem in that the chest closes when I open it and opens it when I close it. So, I guess it's good that it's in a cave because otherwise everyone could just go get my stuff. So, that is our story system complete. But now we have a slight issue and that is that we no longer have any chromatic iron at all. And without chromatic iron, we can't make any more trains. And not having trains makes me sad. So what we're going to do is hop over into a vault and hopefully join up with some other members of the SMP and see if we can get ourselves some more chromatic iron. And look at that. We came into a vault with CWG and Sturka and first room chromatic iron. This is just Oh, it's been our day today, hasn't it? We really just need to stock up on this massively. And then we can go back to making some more trains. Okay, so we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, almost six stacks of chromatic iron ore. So we're going to go back to the base, turn that into dust, and then smell up the dust and see just how much we've managed to recover from this one vault. And apparently, we're the last one to bail, even though we've got six minutes left on the timer. Not quite sure why everyone left so early, but there we go. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. This is actually a little bit insane. Boom! Chromatic iron. 25 and a bit stacks of chromatic iron from one vault. That is ludicrous. That is over 1600 chromatic iron. That is going to keep us going for quite a while. So yeah, we have kind of just gone above and beyond today. We've got machines all sorted. We have an amazing storage system with a secret massive chest in the background. And most importantly, we have our train. But that's where we're going to leave it for today, everyone. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Hellfire Mage and I will see you next time. All aboard! Choo-choo!